we all got our secret Santa presents in the basket? Yep, yep. Mine's for Thomas, I don't need to put it in there, I'll just give it a stack to him. Oh no, 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 you've ruined the surprise! The idea of Secret Santa is you don't know who the gift came from. Oh, but I'm just trying to streamline the process, that's all. Yeah, it makes sense, just cut out the middleman. It's not a man, it's a basket, and it's a vital part of the whole proceedings. You say saying it has to be a basket? Well, not necessarily any sort of reasonably sized receptacle. Bucket? Yeah. Um, like a large box? Sure. Um, uh, like another type of basket? Yeah, what if we made from some kind of flex composite or something? Ooh. Oh, stop brainstorming alternative receptacles. The idea is you take out a present and you don't know who it came from, but now you know who yours is from. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'll give it to you then. Oh, no, that's not going to solve the problem. Besides which, you're supposed to buy something that caters to the tastes of the person. Oh, okay, because I just got a cookbook. Oh no, now you've ruined that surprise too. You're not supposed to tell them what you bought them before they've opened it. I don't buy it. I just whipped it off Mum's shelf actually, so she's probably going to want that one back soon, so. But I don't even like cooking. In fact, I hate cooking. Oh, that'll help then. No, because now you get the added enjoyment of meticulously following a series of instructions, which will inevitably become illegible anyway when you spill raspberry coolie all over them. But all while dealing with the added pressure of a smoking oven and overflowing saucepans, it's a real frenzy. You'll love it. That sounds shit. Oh. Well, okay then. Well, so, what did you get me? Well, well, no, no, he didn't necessarily get anything for you. You're missing the whole essence. The very crux of Secret Santa. So the crux is that I get you a gift, but you don't get one for me. That sounds a bit unfair, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess it does. Sorry, Bruce. No. No, it's not unfair. By design, this whole procedure is scrupulously fair. Yeah, I think I get it, because it eliminates that awkward Christmas time scenario in which someone springs a gift on you, and you don't have one to retaliate with. Exactly. It's an awful situation to be in, and that's why your mother stockpiles beautifully wrapped presents in case someone comes along with a gift and then she has something with which to launch a counterattack. Anyway, let's take our presents from the basket. Sorry you're stuck with a cookbook, Thomas. Well, if you're that upset about it, just don't give me your one in return. It's fine. Still wasn't good. Yeah. So, what did everyone get? Cookbook. Cookbook. Yeah, cookbook. Student guide to surviving flatting. I'm not even a student. Oh, yeah, but it's mainly just handy recipes in there. Oh, look, look like a cookbook. Anybody know where all my cookbooks have gone? Oh, well, that's been fun. So we put these back on the yeah. shelf next year then. Oh, well, hold on, guys. You, I still don't know who this came from. You didn't write your name on the card, guys. Oh, fennel.